Good day everyone and once again we're back together and uh, we're still looking at trigonometry today. Um, for those of you who have just joined the channel, uh, welcome and please just consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button, do it now, okay? And uh, for those of you of obviously um, who, are, uh, who need assistance with either mathematics or physical science, uh, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us and our email address is info at mlungisingosi.co.za right um oh and please don't forget to hit that notification bell as well all right so we're still looking at trigonometry i just thought i'd just add a couple of more examples on the reduction formula all right so let's get right into it okay right so we're given i've taken this from a past exam question okay so we're given sine of 180 minus x 10 of minus x and we are supposed to simplify divided by this is 10 of 180 plus x cos of x minus 90. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video on the reduction formula, uh, please just make sure to, uh, um, you know, we'll just uh, put a link on it uh, so that you can get yourself uh, that knowledge there. Right. So so that you know what to do first. Right. So um, looking at this, how are we going to solve it? We said, first of all, we're going to look at our okay our cartesian plane okay once again our cast principle so we know we're going to have a c a s t and uh, of course if you don't know what uh, this means it means you haven't watched the previous video all right so sine of 180 minus x so that means this is in the second quadrant okay so that simply just becomes sine of x Okay, because sine is positive in that first quadrant there. Okay, and then um, 10 of minus x. Now, remember I said when you've got a negative angle, what you can simply do is just add 360. So this can simply become 360 minus x. Okay, so that it's easy for you to solve that uh, divided by. Okay, so we've got 10 of 180 plus x. That means it's in the third quadrant so that becomes 10 of um, x okay positive uh, 10 is positive in that third quadrant okay and then uh, the last one is cos of x minus 90 now of course once again this one is a little bit unusual okay it's not something that we are usually familiar with so in this case i'm going to add 360 to it okay once again so cos of now, remember, once you add 360, nothing changes because remember that um, the Cartesian plane is actually in cycles of 360. So adding 360 is just getting us back to the same place, right? But it does make things easier in terms of solving. So I'm going to say this is 360. Okay, so this is 360 plus, now in this case, it's X minus 90, okay? Uh, perhaps let me just use square brackets here so that you see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's try and simplify this further. So this becomes sine of x, okay? 10 of 360 minus x, remember that would be in the uh, uh, fourth quadrant there. 10 is negative, only cos is positive there. So that becomes times negative 10x, okay, divided by... We've got 10x there. Um, now we've got the cos of, now that's 360 um, minus, uh, plus x minus 90. Now notice if we're going to add this, so 360 plus a negative 90, that gives us 270. So this in effect becomes 270 uh, plus x. Okay, that changes uh, to 270 plus x. So just to solve it quickly, so that's going to be sine of x, or rather let's say minus sine x, 10x, uh, taking that negative there into consideration, divided by 10 of x, of course you can already see. Now in this case, that's cos of 270. Remember, we said when you've got 90 and 270, that changes to co-ratios. So the co-ratio of cos is sine, but how is sine 270 plus x is in the fourth quadrant, okay? And there's our 270 there, it's in the fourth quadrant. So in this case, it would mean that uh, cos is actually positive there, 
um, so in this case it will be positive we change to the cost co ratio of course which is sine and so that gives me positive sine of x so um, actually that will cancel with that okay in fact let me do it in a different color so that cancels that uh, it's one and in a different color that cancels with that and of course uh, what are we left with we are left with negative one as our final answer all right so that is how the cookie crumbles for that one let's take another one very quickly all right uh, going into our second example so we've got uh, sine of 180 plus x 10 of x minus 360 uh, 10 uh, divided all over that's 10 of 360 minus x and minus cos 60 and 1045 now um, I just wanted to include some special angles but I haven't covered that as yet I will cover that with time I just wanted to show you how to go about this one took it from a past exam question as well so now what we're going to do is again go to our cast principle or cast diagram so c-a-s-t right so we know sine of 180 plus x 180 plus x is in the uh, third quadrant so how is sine in the third quadrant it's going to be negative so that becomes minus sine of x okay and multiplied by 10 now note again we've got x minus 360 okay i said if you don't know what to do uh, and it's given to you in a way that is unfamiliar just add 360 to it so you can just simply say this is going to be 360 okay 360 plus what we already had which is x minus 360 okay in fact let me use square brackets again okay divided by now let's say 10 of 360 minus x that's in the fourth quadrant okay the fourth quadrant in this case 10 is negative so that would be minus um, 10x okay and negative cos of 60 um, for those of you who know about special angles uh, cos of 60 all right is actually 1 over 2 okay we'll cover that as I said so that will be minus 1 over 2 and 10 of 45 uh, is actually root 2 over 2 which is uh, root 2 rather uh, which is 1 okay so 10 of 45 is always 1 right now let's try and simplify this we've got minus sine x 10 of now notice at the top there uh, your 360 and minus 360 will cancel okay so you end up okay let me just use a different color you end up with 10 of x and it tells you this is in the first quadrant uh, so in this case um, okay uh, that remains 10 of x divided by uh, again we've got 10 of um, negative 10 x uh, multiplied by negative 1 over 2 times 1 uh, so that will give us uh, multiplied by negative 1 over 2 okay right of course we can find out what to uh, simplify there we've got 10 x okay uh, I like cancelling with a different color so 10x and 10x that gives us minus 1 and minus a negative times a negative gives us a positive there okay so I have now okay just to simplify it so I've got minus sine x divided by um, 1 over 2 and you can see how that will actually result in negative 2 the sine of x remember uh, when i uh, to get rid of that uh, uh, the half there i multiply by its inverse 2 over 1 but what i do at the top uh, bottom i do at the top so that cancels with that and i'm left with minus 2 sine of x and that is our second question all right and the last one i wanted to kind of involve more numbers so that you know how to deal with the uh, um, you know uh, this section when we are given numbers all right so for our third example all right so there it is uh, we've got sine of 150 okay so remember we can rewrite sine of 150 as 
sine of 180 minus 30. So remember, we've got special angles. That's 30, that's 45, that's 60, as well as 90, right? So that's 180 minus 30. And then cos of 225, 225, you can express that as 180 plus 45. Okay. Uh, sine of 330, so that would be sine of 360 minus 30 and sine of 45 remains as is and sine of 260 i can say well that is the same as the sine of 270 plus 10 or, or rather uh, minus 10 um, so that's 270 minus 10 okay so in this case minus 10 and we divide that by the cos of 10 degrees now let's solve that quickly so sine of 180 minus 30 again going into our cast diagram okay so that's going to be c a s t so remember sine of 180 minus 30 right so in this case that's in the second quadrant okay so that tells me in the second quadrant, sine is always positive, so that will be sine of 30, okay, multiplied by the cos of 180 plus 45. That's the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, cos is negative, so this would be multiplied by minus cos of 45, okay, sine of 360 minus 30. Again, sine in the fourth quadrant, that's in the fourth quadrant, so sine is negative. So that will be minus sine of 30 degrees. Okay, and I'll leave that sine of 45. Okay, uh, sine of 270 minus 10 degrees. Okay, so remember once it says 270, it means that we're going to uh, change into the co-ratio. So that's, that becomes a, a, a cos. But now... 270 minus 10 that's in the third quadrant so in this case it tells us that uh, sine is negative there so this will become minus the cos of 10 degrees right and divide all of that by the cos of 10 degrees and of course uh, from here on for those of you who know about special angles uh, you can apply that um, I can see there are two things that I can cancel out there. Okay, so cos 10 uh, and cos 10, I'm left with minus one there. Okay, so we can take that minus one. Uh, we can put it there in the front. So I've got now, so this is minus sine of 30 um, times uh, negative. Now remember this negative here, I've taken from the negative that was left uh, the negative one that was after I cancelled the cos of 10. So in this case, it's minus cos uh, 30 minus cos of 45. Okay. Multiplied by negative sine of 30. And the sine of 45. Now we can simplify using special angles. Uh, for those of you who may not know about those yet, don't worry too much about it. So uh, we've got a sine of 30 is 1 over 2 um, multiplied by sine of 45 uh, is root 2 uh, over 2. Okay. And um, again, sine of 30 again is negative 1 over uh, 2. And then sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, so we're multiplying all of those. Um, in this case, uh, remember, or oh, in fact, that was supposed to be negative uh, root 2 over 2. Okay, so we can just multiply the numerators together. Okay, negative times a negative times another negative, that would be a negative. Okay, so root 2 divide, uh, multiplied by root 2 that will give me 2, and if I take the denominators, uh, 2 times 2 times 2, and times 2, 
uh, that should give me 16. Um, that's 2 to the power 4, that should be 16. And the answer that I get is negative 1 over 8. Uh, I hope that was correct uh, in terms of my numbers. And essentially, that is how you're going to tackle reduction formulae uh, when it comes to, um, you know, questions that are, uh, have special angles in them. Uh, but essentially, the application is pretty much the same. All right, I want to leave our lesson there and I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please be part of this family and uh, hit that notification bell. Please never forget to even share and tell as many people as you can about our channel. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.